course was German 436, mm -hmm. so an upper level German course called Imagining America. Uh, I was using Moodle and uh, specifically I was using uh, the blog function, a wiki, and an online glossary. The main function uh, of Moodle, from my perspective, is it allows students to begin engaging with class material outside of the classroom before they even come to class. So, for example, when they're doing their readings in advance of class, I post questions for them to answer. And then with the online glossary, what I was doing was I was asking them to gloss specific terms out of the assigned reading so that they would create their own compendium of knowledge that was then accessible to everyone in the class online. And um, this does, goes actually quite a, quite a long way to uh, supporting in-class discussion because uh, they've already sort of thought in advance about some of the critical questions uh, regarding the text before they come into the classroom setting. And then in terms of the online glossary, what it allowed uh, them to do is to really support the reading. Um, at the 300 and 400 language level, um, students are really sort of making that transition away from instructor-guided learning to self-guided learning, uh, particularly when it comes to reading longer and more complicated texts. They have to begin understanding how to make that choice. Is this a word that I need to look up? Or can, is this a word I can kind of skim over and get contextual reading knowledge? And so when they create their own glossary online, what they're doing is they're making that choice because they're only glossing three words per reading. And then in addition to that, they're sort of getting a sense of what words are not only important to me, but probably important to the other students in the classroom as well. Well, of course, it's, it's a time-saving device for the instructor to have students creating and generating their own vocabulary lists because these words, were after they were glossed, were then automatically compiled by Moodle uh, and allowed me to generate quizzes through Moodle, um, which made things a lot easier. In the past, I would have the students turn these in as separate assignments, and I it was on me then to bring all this information together and generate a list that I would then have to turn around and return back to them. And so it takes a couple of steps out of that, um, out of that assignment. Uh, the other thing that it really did for me too is it gave me a better sense of what are the students understanding, what are they not understanding, um, how, how are they sort of working through the text themselves. So it benefits me on a sort of practical level, but also uh, in a more um, yeah, sort of a broader, it gives me a broader understanding of what my students are really learning and how they're learning it. I'm absolutely going to continue using it. I was actually surprised by just how flexible and, and what sort of broader applications there are for something as simple as an online glossary. Um, I will be teaching courses in English this semester and I will still use it because uh, even though it's not a foreign language class, there are terms that can be glossed, so you can look at it that way as well. And um, it will also, again, be a very useful tool to show me what terms, what conceptual terms the students are perhaps not yet familiar with and uh, it'll also compile, again, a, a source of knowledge that the students then can use throughout the semester and refer back to as they study for tests, but also as they sort of begin to see the connections, too, between concept A and concept B, right? If they have it there, they can begin to see how those things connect together.